Your music is not on <laughs> Spotify. Why not? Um. Well, I think Spotify as a business model is not good. It um, it's based on the idea of circumventing the payment of artists. How to beat the artists out of money? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not opposed to streaming. I understand that the the um, world is shifting and the way that music is valued and monetized is shifting and, and um, I'm okay with that and I'm even okay with you know people not paying for music uh, or paying for let's say someone wants to buy physical media someone wants to buy a record but they would also like the option to stream my album at work or something I'm fine with that I just wish there was a better way to do it that that didn't uh, you know, only well, you pay call, a company. You called it a, vil a villainous cabal I of did. major labels? I did. A cynical and musician-hating system. I did, I did call it those things. You um, got an alternative? No, I mean, maybe. Uh, maybe there is an alternative out there. I don't know. I haven't heard of one that, that okay. seems built the way that I would prefer it to be built. S Spotify's global head of communications and public policy replied. Here's an excerpt from what they said. We'd love to sit down with Joanna and try and clear up some of the misunderstandings about how Spotify works to support artists, songwriters, and the whole music industry. For example, someone has led her to believe we don't pay artists anything for advertising and subscriptions. In fact, we pay around 70 percent of all of our revenue from every single advertising and subscription dollar in royalties. Yeah. They, I mean, they pay royalties, and then the royalties are divvied up according to the particular licensing agreement between each artist and each artist label. Um, the tricky thing is that most major labels are involved, you know, have a financial stake in Spotify, so they're not really making, it, unlike... So the artist gets screwed? I mean, the artist gets sort of screwed. Uh, they're, they're making a royalty, but the, um, you know, there's a lot of different ways to um, justify cost and um, needing it's to recoup. It's complicated. They have a, someone once said, no movie has ever made money. <laughs> <laughs> right, and there's definitely, there's a way, for example, many major labels are guilty of a scenario in which a record can be wildly popular but never seem to recoup. You know, there's always new things that get charged it. against the album. Hey guys, Larry here. Thanks for watching me. Be sure to check out some of my other favorite Larry King Now moments right here and tune in to new episodes Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.